Hi, I'm Kurt Smith, and welcome to App Talks, a series of conversations with Salesforce customers on how using business apps from the App Exchange can help you manage all aspects of your business. I'm here today with Mary Beth Gargani from Ascent to talk about how using Aptis on the Salesforce platform helped Ascent transform their legacy quoting process and drive efficiencies throughout their entire organization. Welcome to App Talks, Mary Beth. Thanks, nice to be here. Tell me a little bit about Ascent and, and your role. Well, we are a pharmacy automation solutions company located right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And our mission is basically to improve the medication delivery services within a hospital or a health system. So our product line is pretty diverse and, and pretty complex. We have robotics, we have IV solutions, and we have an inventory management software system in addition to cabinetry to actually help the hospital or health system really improve patient outcomes and make sure that they're operating as efficiently as they, they possibly can be, which ultimately leads to better patient care in the long run. And if I was in a hospital, what, what, is a, what is a cabinet? How does that work? Well, a cabinet actually houses the medications that ultimately reach the bedside for the patient. So it's really important in our industry that we make sure that those cabinets and the information that may flow through the software contained in that cabinet is as appropriate and cost effective and administratively efficient as it possibly can be. So uh, with, with pharmaceuticals and cabinets and robots and everything else, it sounds super complex. What led you to Salesforce? Well, we had a number of legacy systems that we used in our business to communicate interdepartmentally. And for the most part, those systems were not as collaborative as we needed them to be. Since we manufacture a number of our products in the Pittsburgh area, it was really important that our sales orders actually made it to the manufacturing as complete and as accurate as they possibly could be. And we didn't have the appropriate visibility. There wasn't a reliability of the information relative to forecasts and even something as simple as units times price. So it was really important for us to look at our core systems and make some changes to make improvements in our business so we could help our customers become more efficient and have better businesses as well. And what were you using before you started to use Salesforce? Um, we were using a famous system known as Excel and email to basically track our pricing, track our forecasts, and track the approvals for specific deals. So not exactly the most um, current and up to speed information. And, and what led you to Aptis? How did you find Aptis? Well, as we were beginning our Salesforce implementation, we um, worked with our development partner and we're looking at trying to improve the quoting process. So as we come to find out, there was a snappy acronym called CPQ for configurations, pricing, and quoting that we really took a strong look at because we knew the functionality that we needed to help make the quoting process easier, help expose more of the price list information, be able to see some of the attributes of our, of our deals um, was, was housed in some of these applications. So we took a hard look at what we were trying to solve for, what problems we needed to eliminate in our business, and evaluated those vendors accordingly. And what were some of the just initial high-level results that you saw? Um, we improved our sales rep productivity and really had better visibility across the entire organization. Can we go a little bit deeper? Can you give me some examples of some more results that you saw mm -hmm. once started working with sure. Salesforce and Aptis? Um, if our project had a tagline, it would be that we customized over 1,000 features in our instance of Salesforce and Aptis. We were able to come in 30 days early, and we were able to become um, fulfill the project under budget. So I think any project manager would certainly sign up for, I'll, I'll for sign that. Up for that, yeah, exactly. For sure. um, we were able to also achieve some engaged selling time improvements. So our team actually spends 30 percent more time with the customer than they had previously. Um, we were able to translate that into a 45 percent increase in the average deal size that we see on our quotes. And that information, I think coupled alone with the visibility of, of more accurate forecasts, um, the ability to share information across departments, really has gave, really has given our business a much more confident um, sense of reliability in terms of what our, what our team is doing. And as we rolled through the implementation, we now have 100% adoption of our tools, and we use that as our, as our standard. I mean, Salesforce and Aptis are our sources of truth, so there isn't any variation amongst what we're using going forward. So it's great. Um, so w 
you do the rollout, you do the implementation, what kind of results, have, transformational results have you seen, not only in the sales organization, but you mentioned greater visibility across the entire organization. Mm -hmm. I think it was really important that the change management process as we rolled into a new system um, was really clear cut and we made sure that our CEO, our CFO, our director of sales, um, first line managers, our senior VP of sales, everyone was lockstep in terms of Salesforce was going to be our system, Aptis was going to provide our, our quoting tools. And we made sure that the process to move folks from Excel and Outlook, as it were, to the new tool was really as painless as possible. We wanted to make sure that they understood we built these tools, we enhanced these tools for their productivity enhancements. And we, we coddled them a little bit along the way to make sure that they understood that. But I think the um, the significant wins that we've been able to see across the organization from the accounting team having a much clearer view of deal approval by the some of the features that we have in Aptis. Our legal team's able to draft contracts a lot faster. Our manufacturing team understands what the product forecasts look like and what they're actually building for our customers. I think there's a great um, confidence level that we're all able to share in those results. And how about you personally in your role? Oh, it's been a great project. It's probably one of the best ones I, I've ever worked on. Um, I think the ability to work cross-functionally with a number of individuals in the company has been great. And you know, to this day, we, we still talk and communicate not only about the product that we were able to build, but also about some of the experiences that we had that can kind of help us as we you know, moved into other projects and other you know, endeavors in the company. So it's been fantastic. One of the things we, we really like to do on App Talks is do some peer-to-peer -peer knowledge sharing. Mm -hmm. So if I met you at Dreamforce, let's say, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I said, hey, Mary Beth, I'm thinking, you know, we're thinking about going down the same road as you are with, with Aptis and we're looking for a CPQ solution. What, what advice would you give me? Um, I would say, first of all, know the requirements of what you're trying to solve for. Understand your challenges and really make a point to ask a number of why questions to really understand um, what you're trying to improve upon, fix, eliminate. Um, really un understand that because I think oftentimes folks rush into a new solution and, and, or purchase something off the shelf thinking this is going to solve their problems without really understanding the root cause. We spend a lot of time in our organization um, using Six Sigma to help identify problems and areas of improvement. Just like our customers are doing that same exercise in their organizations, we've been doing that to try to improve upon things in, in our industry. I'd say secondarily, you'd want to make a point to develop a cross-functional team. It's really easy to start a project like this and have one set of constituents that you're worried about. What we wanted to do was make sure that our sales team, our accounting team, our legal team, our manufacturing team, everyone was represented. Because if we didn't do that, then we knew downstream there could be issues as far as the, the net result of our tool. And I'd say finally, it's really important also to understand the need to build something versus buy something. I think in mature IT organizations, the natural tendency is to build it yourself because who knows your problems better than you do. But I think it's really important to understand that if you do look at other vendors who play in that same space that you're trying to solve the problem for, they have an experience and a wealth of knowledge and a, a breadth of communication with other peers, in fact, customers, that could really help you as, as you move forward with one of those solutions. That's, those are three really good, good tips. Thank you. And thank you for being here today, Mary Beth. I really enjoyed speaking with you. And now we're going to show you a demo of the power of Salesforce and Aptis CPQ. Great. Thanks, Kurt. Again, my name is Nick McCoy, sales engineer at Aptis. Let's take a look at some of the applications we've been talking about. As you can see, we're directly logged into salesforce.com and we're using the Aptis proposal management application. Remember, this application is 100% native to salesforce.com, meaning that Salesforce hosts, manage, manages, and delivers our entire suite of applications. Let's start by drilling into one of our accounts that I have as a representative with Tier 1 Systems. My customer, Venture Industries, wants yet another quote for some of the products and services that we offer. Here on the uh, account, you can see I already have two proposals that have been generated and presented to the customer, and those are both associated with my single opportunity that I have with Venture Industries. I can quickly and easily compare multiple quotes together and present them to the customer in one cohesive document and ramp new and create new quotes directly from the opportunity screen by clicking this Aptis button. 
The individual rep quoting only sees the necessary products that they have the authority and the ability to sell and those products that are applicable for that customer. Here we're seeing the product configurator or catalog where I see all the products that I can quote out to my customer. There are some features here like the ability to refine my search that drive me to the specific products needed depending on what the customer really wants. So with 200 or fewer custom objects needed, you'll notice that the CRM corporate product is what we should be selling to this customer. In addition, any selection that we make can drive recommendation or constraint rules. Here, I must select one of these products in conjunction with the corporate plan. I'm gonna go ahead and add that product to my cart. Now there are other ways to navigate and select products. I can access a separate portion of the configurator by drilling down through this hierarchy. And once there, what we'll see here is the ability to configure a bundle of options together. So we have the ability to handle complex bundles with nested options of products. I'm going to access that uh, part of the tool by clicking configure here on the screen and that's bringing me in to the bundle selection page. We're breaking out this product into a number of option groups and I'm going to go ahead and up the ante on this product by selecting the second tier of options. I'm going to add some more processor and memory because I know that my customer needs uh, a little bit more power here in this device. And I'm also going to add some service and the combination of those options together are saying that I actually shouldn't be selling this product. I should be selling maybe a promotional product or an alternate product that is actually a better fit for this customer. So we're going to go ahead and add this product to our cart, completely do a swap, swapping out the existing bundle of options for this new bundle. On the right hand side I can see the bill of materials, I can make additional changes if I want, and on the right I can see uh, the actual products that are making up this configuration. This looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and move into the pricing screen. So we've configured some options, now we're going to go ahead and price those products, apply some discounts, and maybe trigger an approval process depending on what we do here. It's important to note that this screen is entirely configurable, so clicks not code to uh, reveal or hide fields from this screen. Now my customer was pressuring me a little bit for something uh, a little cheaper, so I'm going to apply a 15% discount, a 25% discount to these two top lines, and I know that they actually need 10 of these servers, so I'm going to go ahead and make those changes and reprice here. It's important to note that any modification by the rep can route this for approval, uh, could flag the rep to say that they are outside of a certain uh, band. We really want to control rogue discounting and control the amount of quotes that we're routing for approval because that just adds time to the overall process. So on the right hand side of the screen here we can see that I do require now require approval for these two lines. But by drilling into the deal guidance I can actually see that if I give a 10% discount, I can get away with that with no approval needed. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that discount, 10%, and reprice this quote. So we've configured some options, we've ran some rules, we've ran some discounting rules, and now we'll see that no approval is required for this configuration. We can actually move forward with getting this out to the customer. I could save this quote and come back later. But I'm ready to get this out to them, so I'm going to go ahead and finalize this configuration, and we can move forward with generating a proposal and presenting this to our customer. You can see the overall price of my quote after my discount is $46,000. And to generate the document, I'm going to go ahead and click on this generate option. I'm only seeing the template output options that are applicable for this customer and for this configuration and when I click generate we're doing more than simply creating a document. We're actually running intelligent rules that are including or excluding marketing materials, including or excluding special terms and conditions as they pertain to perhaps the products or the actual customer that we're selling into. So we always get that pixel perfect document. Go ahead and click in on this uh, link to view and viewing it from the browser is, is definitely beneficial. But let's take a look at what this looks like on a mobile device. Here you can see I've got my iPhone right in front of me and I have the Salesforce One application and what I want to do is drill into that application. Now because Aptis is native to the Salesforce platform, everything we do 
is immediately mobile enabled. So here I have the quote that we actually just configured, and here you can see that document. If I drill in here, I can see those actual lines, the quantities and the discounts that we configured. So it makes it really nice and it really easy for our reps that are on the road. Okay, let's jump back into the browser here. I'm gonna go back to our proposal record. Again, full history of this entire quote and the configuration, including if I were now to send this to the customer via email or e-signature. Back on the opportunity, I now have three proposals associated with my uh, opportunity with this customer. I can see all three of those here. And back on the account, again, the relationship of those three quotes to the account, full 360 degree view of the customer. So we saw the ability from inside of Salesforce without ever leaving to configure, price, and quote the right products at the right prices and get the right document out to the customer.